What's up fellow engineers, Dr. McKay here, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be covering every aspect of how to use hinges and the various things you can do with them. But before we get started, if you want to go ahead and like, comment and subscribe, it really does help me out. With all that said, let's get on and show you what hinges are. Hopefully I'm going to try and make this a quick one and easy to follow and understand, so please let me know if you understood it in the comments. So firstly, we have very many hinges, but before we actually get into how to work hinges, we actually, I want to show you where to find them. So the hinges can be found in advanced systems on the top left. Now this is on Xbox 360, it'd be roughly the same place on PC. So you get your hinge out, and this is what you get for the large grid. Now, you want to take note here, as you can see on the side of the hinge, we have a little, like, like, I don't know, point with a, like a white line on the top right side of this hinge, right? That, represents the back of the hinge i'll put a little arrow on the screen to show you so basically on the left side that is your front and on the rear that is your back so that's so it's it's very important that you get that right otherwise you'll have multiple different hinges facing different areas so now we have that covered all right this is the first hinge again i have it so it's facing that way so if we come into the hinge in the control menu which would be this hinge it's currently at the zero degree angle so you come down in the menu to where it says velocity lower limit upper limit and obviously braking torque stuff torque is power braking torque i believe is how much power it has to stop it from falling on in like in gravity so it's it falls slower especially if there's lots of weight on it but if i up this into the plus so say plus one as you can see it's going forward so plus is going forward so that pip represents the minus and again you can you can reverse it so in the menu go to your hinge if you click reverse it will go the other way now it's going to go into the minus so as you can see as we go in it's on 50 degrees going down and it'll pass the zero degrees and go into the minus we get there so now it's going into the minus now that minus will go all the way to minus 90 which will be facing me here so that's basically pretty simple you now know which is plus which is minus and how to set the speed to set different angles so let's just say you want it to go minus 90 to zero degrees all right at the minute it's on current angle is minus 90 degrees so that's your lowest limit the upper limit is 90 degrees. So if we put that down to zero, like so, and then click reverse, the hinge will stop in the zero degree mark, which is facing straight up. Like so. So that's basically all you need to know about how to work hinge in that respect the same thing applies for the small grid 3x3 hinge as you see it's got a little pip representing uh, minus and on the little one here as well so the other thing i want to show you is to be able to put this small one by one hinge into the large uh, large grid hinge like frame Basically, what you need is this is on the airflight plants with gravity. You can do it in space the same way or different ways. This is the easy way I learned how to do it. You want to get a rotor, you want to whip the head off the rotor and attach a small rotor head. Then you want to get your small block, come up to the middle of the hinge, and then bring in your blocks to there. Then you want to get a small head, which is that one there attach it in the middle so it looks like that go to your control menu find your hinge which will be this one it where you see on the right side of the panel it says detached you want to come down the list until you find the word attached click attached and that will attach the small head inside of the large hinge now all you want to do then is delete the 
blocks and now we have the hinge head inside the large hinge and then it works exactly the same as before so obviously it's angled at 90 so we was just to reverse it to the minus side as you can see it's moving and it works exactly the same as all the others with give air tubes so it allows you to do multiple different ball turrets as i demonstrated in a video previously which is with like these weapons because these have small grid conveyor tubes like the small 1v1 obviously you'll have to put a conveyor tube on but somebody once said why don't you just attach a small grid head via the control menu okay you can do that so hinge to you come down you can do add small head well you do that it makes a three by three head which doesn't leave much room for large uh, for ball turrets because to make a ball turret you need to have small 1v1 ports which the only way you can do that without um putting the small 1v1 head in is with this conveyor tube which has the connection and you don't really want this honking thing there so yeah but that is another way you can go from large grid to small grid is by adding a small head but like i said yeah it's easier just to put in like that get the small head attach it like that go to the menu attach the head Bearing in mind, Clang may attack sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And now you have obviously your hinge in. Wrong one. You can add a small conveyor tube. Boom. And then with weapons, like with any weapons will do, as long as they've got small ports, you can connect small ports up. And now these are confined within the actual turret itself and these are classified as ball turrets very simple and straightforward all right so you don't actually need to add a three times three head in by the menu you can just do that now it's a little bit complicated but ball turrets or custom turrets you kind of need to do that all right the last thing i want to show you on how to on what you can do with hinges you know is how to attach two separate hinges or multiple hinges together in the same grid so let's just say you want to build a hanger door and you want to put a doorway from one hinge to this hinge all right now you would think that's connected to the, so this grid is connected to that hinge you're wrong it's not because that second hinge is a separate grid so if i was to go into this menu go to hinge two which would be the right hinge and then uh move it left to right as you can see it's moving and it's not attached so you're probably wondering how do you get around this boys well, belly very very easy so you, what you want to do you want to whip off the head of the hinge and then you get your hinge and you want to get a head or a hinge part place it so it's on the door you want to attach to the hinge place it inside like so so it's inside the block go to your control menu when you're in the control menu find your hinge you say on you see on the right it says detached go to attached and now it's both attached as you can see this one's already set to the minus to go to 90 degrees and now it's pulling this one and because they're both facing the same way see with the pip it's facing to the like the back and again there they won't cancel each other out when you're combining both moves and that is how you attach like two hinges to the same like grid or door and you can do multiple hinges and that's basically it there's not much more else i can explain about hinges in this video now if you want like more help or advice or like ideas on how to use them let me know in the comments below but apart from that i think i've helped you now properly on how to do hinges now i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please give me a thumbs up don't forget to comment your thoughts and subscribe it really does help me out with all that said i've been dr mckay Thank you all for watching, and until the next one, I'll catch you then. Cheers, and goodbye.